Welcome back, guys, to another episode of The Misconception and the Opinion of the Conservative. I am Tiffany Van, and I have my beautiful co-host here with me again, Miss Ruth. How are you today? I am well, Miss Tiff. That's Thank great. You. Yes. Great. Well, let's finish where we started. Uh, left off. Okay. Okay. Yes. Last time we mm-hmm. were talking about, you were like, oh, what about Jay-Z? Right. Okay. Right. Listen, yes. Basically what happened was, and I'll sum it up for you guys mm. real quick. Um, he's part of a $300,000, um, oh, I'm sorry, $300 million, million dollar yes. campaign mm-hmm. um, where it's uh, allowing children of, you know, that live in low income um, areas to pick a school that they want to go to. Um, For better advancement, you know, to better their education. And a lot of the Democratic people, um, not candidates, but um, politicians had some things to say Mm -hmm. about that. And they didn't like, um, they didn't like it, basically, because Mm -hmm. the thing is, um, Republicans are behind that $300 million um, campaign. Um, So basically, being as though it may help children, they are against it because they're saying it may take away from public schooling uh, funding. That was a big issue. Um, but I, me and Miss Ruth, we're we're pro school choice. Yes. Children should be able to go to schools where they want to go to. They shouldn't yes. be limited to their zip code, mm-hmm. you know. And and that's just the bottom line of that. So it is. and that's another reason why we are conservatives. Okay? Yes, Period. especially if they're failing, <laughs> if they're not doing their job. Yeah. Yes. Be able to send your child somewhere else. Right, exactly. And get educated. Right. Well, listen, let's yes. move forward okay. because, oh my goodness, <sighs> over the weekend, l- let me tell you guys, so Miss Ruth was on it. She called me and told me, <gasps> thank you. Like, she oh. told me, and, and she sounded so sad. I'm like, what the heck happened? And she's <sighs> like, did you hear what happened to Donald Trump? And I'm like, no. And I go online and it's all, I'm like, mm. oh my goodness, Miss Ruth. Tell me about that. What was your reaction to it? Uh, my reaction, I was sad. I, it yes. was it, the feeling inside. It reminded me of, you know, be it a Kennedy shooting mm. 911. That whole feeling for, yeah. for me of, oh, my God. Are and, we reliving and, this? And, 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 <laughs> like, and to pray. Yes. Because oh it's like... Oh, my gosh, because you know what? I've actually, I and my grandchildren, Mm -hmm. and I believe you were there as well, have been at locations where... The you know where Donald, Donald Trump, Trump was he was yeah. mm-hmm. standing right there next to him mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. it grazed him but mm-hmm. anyone who knows anything about bullets guns things like that right. if it grazes a person mm-hmm. it still has a target to hit it someone was killed right people are saying it was staged wait a minute I mean that what? someone getting murdered oh was staged God. and this two is people real life two people in critical condition this is, is life. staged what do you mean? Stage like this is some type of audition or movie or something. Well, see, maybe that's the problem. People live in a fantasy oh, world, and do. you need to get up out of being playing your video games, your basement, they get your head out ridiculous. the ground. No, that that man had a wife. He has children. Yes, yes. he was fifty years old, and well, he is dead. Here's the other thing. So what? they say that um, Joe Biden called the wife of the guy who was murdered at the um, right. the rally. Okay, she didn't take his call. Okay, people were like, "Oh, why wouldn't she take his call?" Da-da. First of mm. all. Um, if you feel that a man mm, mm. is responsible for the killing of yes. your family member, would yes. you take their call? No. And I'm not saying she feels like, you know, I don't know what she feels like, Correct. you know. But would you really take their no. call? No. no. He's the opponent. No. Okay? So, no. Unless I'm I might take like, the call either. Well, unless I'm like, yeah, where are, where are you right now? You <laughs> know? <laughs> Where are you right now? We can meet up. Listen, you know? No. No. So, guys, um, just just leave it alone. It's, it was not staged. But that's ridiculous. It is pathetic, really. Um, For and, those and, who, who think it was staged, you are listen, the problem. Listen. You're the problem. Oh, I'm, I'm pissed off. You are the problem. Right, right. And people are just online saying all type of horrific things. Like, oh, why did he miss... I know. Oh, my God. Take They're better the lessons, shooting lessons. They're the problem. That's the problem. And Tell they want to say that, what? Oh, you're conservatives. We're Republicans. We are, we're hate. We hate everyone. Mm-hmm. We hate everything. Mm-hmm. 
But why is it that all of these comments are coming from mm -hmm. non-Republicans? They are. That sounds like hate to me. But listen to this, though. So there was um, something online saying that the guy that shot at Trump mm -hmm. um, was Republican. Right? right, right. Okay, so then people were like, oh, wow, he's, see, your mm -hmm. own people turning on, mm -hmm. turning on Trump. Da -da -da. Right, right, right. Okay, but but you said it was staged. But you believe yeah. it if he's Republican. Right, but, but, but it, right. But then if he's not Republican, then it's staged. Like, come on. They're either you know, racist or confused. Yeah, for, Are you confused? Right, like, which uh, one is it? Yeah. You know, like, it's propaganda once again Correct. once again 101 and you know what but the kicker is mm -hmm. he also donated to the democratic party he just recently registered mm -hmm. as a republican but he gave money mm -hmm. Listen, to the dnc if you ask me that guy that shot at trump he looks like he was struggling to come out of the closet for real, for real. Right, I right, don't right. know if anybody else look, looked at him and, and, and got that thought, but he looks a little like, like um, he was trying to transition into female, to me. But that's that, what it looks like. That's good enough reason to try to take him out anyway. But, I mean, I, but, I just feel like it but, wasn't staged, bottom line. Right. But and, and here's the other thing. What? Bernie G. Thompson, mm -hmm. he's a congressman, right? Right. His, um, she's a, uh, one of his staffers, Staff oh, people Jacqueline yeah, yeah, Morsell yeah, yeah. was right. fired for yes. a comment that she made yes. online about Trump. Right. And she said, I don't condone violence, mm -hmm. but please get you some shooting lessons oh so you don't miss next time. Oops, that wasn't me talking. Uh, another You're contradiction. Pathetic. She's pathetic for even saying something like that. It's disgusting. But then, as soon as something happens to their family members, they're right. online crying, the, the praying NRA, for me, NRA, all this you know, nonsense. Exactly. Want people to feel bad for them. Like, stop it. Because you are part of the problem with violence. They are the problem. Okay? You, because you one are. thing, Tiffany, I'll say you and I, or yeah. and Republicans that I know, what our stance is, mm -hmm. our stance is, in spite of whatever's going on. Right. On with... A, other people, okay, and right now we're referring to the Democrat. No, they go whichever way the wind is blowing. So what? what is good? Right. What do the people want to hear now? What will get us elected? What will be popular? What will be popping on TikTok or Twitter or get oh my numbers my up? Gosh. Yeah, these these people, I, I don't get it. But listen. I'm, no. <laughs> listen, Forbes, they went on and said that will Trump use the attack to get more black votes. Wow. That was one of their headlines in wow. a story they wrote. Wow. Forbes. Come wow. on. That was that was real racist. I don't care how good the article was. Why would you eat, first of all, and then it's going to make mm -mm. it, then they're going to switch it and make it seem like Trump is going to say, is, is wow. saying that. When it's really, it was Forbes that said that. Is he going to try to use that to relate to black people? Now, do they think that maybe black people don't read Forbes. Oh, my God. Or read oh, Forbes. How about that? Uh, how well, about do that? Do you read Forbes? You know, what does your portfolio look like? Do you know <laughs> anything about that? But no, yes. I mean, he had my vote, uh, and Forbes, I didn't even read the article, so. Else. Oh, my God. Oh. But no, I think that they think that, you know what? No, blacks, they're 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 dumb. They, you know, they, yeah. they're not going to read this article. That's, that's what I Listen, think. Listen, everything is at our fingertips. You know I what I'm know. saying? Um... And, and it's, just, it's just, it's crazy. They don't It is. They don't it's a lot it. of misinformation. And oh my God, so many misinformation uh, commercials. Yeah. Don't believe the too. fake news, misinformation. Mm -hmm. But the propaganda is coming from one side. One right. far left side. Yeah. Well, listen here. So Donald Trump finally picked his VP. Okay, okay yes. Um... And what do you think about it? Um, he's a younger guy. Yes. Um, his name is J.D. Vance. Mm -hmm. Okay. And he's um, a, a senator. Okay. Right, right, right. Um, of Ohio, actually. Okay. So, J.D. Vance. Now, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. Everybody's online saying how, oh, he doesn't even like Trump. Right. Um, he was talking bad about him. Uh -huh. Now, all of a sudden, he's going to be his VP. Right, right. What did we say? What did you say the other day, Miss Ruth? Like, people can change their mind. They can. And when it comes down to policy, when it comes down to business, mm -hmm. and our country, saving our country, our nation, it, it, I mean, it's a business. Right. Business personal, 
they don't match. They don't, they don't mix. Mm-hmm. I don't have to like you in mm-hmm. order to work with mm-hmm. you in right. order to do something. And I do not know a whole, whole lot about the Ohio gentleman, mm-hmm. but I will look into him more so. Mm-hmm. But he is younger. And mm-hmm. what I did hear from him when he talked, mm-hmm. he, he he didn't sound like our current um, VP. And I told you how <laughs> I feel about that. She sounds like she's oh, still tripping man. off of acid from the 60s <laughs> at when she talks. She just does. That's That's what she reminds me of. Yeah. Like, we're all idiots. Well, I feel like, you know, it's a good look. Um, I'm glad I'm glad that, you know, he chose someone like Vance. And listen, so what? Okay, he said some bad things. Haven't we all? And then once we got to know somebody, we're like, you know what? I like this person. But wait a minute. During the debate, when Kamala was running for president. Kamala didn't even use, she didn't used to like uh, Joe Biden. They threw each other under the bus. Uh. Right. Or at the debate. Well, you did this. You well, own a prison. But they you didn't do say that. that. But they didn't they didn't mention that part. <laughs> but they want to talk about how Vance didn't like I doesn't know. like Trump. No, they, oh my no. God. You see how backwards and twisted Ooh, they yeah. are? The, the wind blew. Oh, the wind my shifted. Goodness. They're pathetic. I mean, shifted. you Democrats, and it's not all of you, but no. it's majority of you, I would say, because you know, I've come in contact with a lot of Democrats. When you tell them your opinion as a Republican, they get angry with you. Right. I don't have to agree with you. Correct. But you know what? But if you were to ever have an honest conversation, a non, mm-hmm. you know, argumentative conversation with a person that is registered as a Democrat, you mm-hmm. will find many people will find that you have more in common than not, especially if they are a homeowner, especially mm-hmm. if they send their children to private school. Mm-hmm. Because I don't think anyone wakes up and say, you know what, I want to live in the worst neighborhood. Right. I want the most crime. I want to be the poorest I could possibly get. Right. I mean, be, and I want my children not to be educated. No one says that. We all want the same thing. Right. That is very true. Very true. Um, well, I do want to talk about um, Amber Rose. Okay. Now, she spoke at the uh, Republican National Convention recently right. in Milwaukee. Yes. Okay. Okay. Now, if anybody knows Amber Rose, mm-hmm. um, she well, she used to date Kanye West, all right? And she's now, you know, repping um, Donald Trump. Okay. Real hard. Real okay. Hard. Now, I'm not going to bash her like right, right, Joy right. Reid did, you know, talking about uh-huh. how, uh, oh, she doesn't claim her, uh, her skin color, culture, and all that. Mm-hmm. She's a culture vulture, blah, blah, blah. Right, I don't right, care if right. black, white, right. whatever. Exactly. The bottom line is, this is how I feel about mm-hmm. it. People are saying that they're using um, Amber Rose for... Um, to get the black vote. Okay. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Here we go, the black vote. I I don't think that's what it is. Right, right. Amber Rose, if you look at her her Mm -hmm. history, Uh she is very... Um, she was pro women's rights, right, right, and she also is pro, you know, gay rights okay. and lesbians and transgender, or all right, that stuff. Right she for supports. People. Okay, she supports. I believe she's there for that vote, not for the black vote, because their vote, the gay uh, vote, and right. and and the women that hate. Trump because right. he oh he wants to get rid of women's rights. She's there oh to get God. those votes because their votes is just as important, okay, as the black vote. So I think a lot of people have that twisted. Not only that, Mm-mm. Amber, listen, and this is another thing. I think people are getting um conservatives confused with MAGA supporters. Okay. There's there's a big difference because just because you support Donald Trump does not mean you are a conservative. Amber Rose is very, her lifestyle, mm-hmm. her political views right. is very democratic, okay? Right, right. She doesn't even believe in God, and she said it many of times. And we all know conservatives are mostly Christians, okay? Right, right. She She's very democratic mm-hmm. in, in, in many ways. So I think people are just getting confused also She's not the I don't she's not the real deal and that's my opinion. She she's not a real conservative, but she supports Trump and that's okay. Well, you know? right, because in November it doesn't matter what party you are. You mm-hmm. can vote for whomever you want. Maybe could it possibly be mm-hmm. that after watching our current administration Mm-hmm. After living day to day and how mm-hmm. hard it is, mm-hmm. or listening to our president when he speaks and he cannot form a sentence, he can't keep a thought. Maybe a person is like, you know what? I don't have confidence in him in the next four years. Right, right. I mean, but is that possible? 
You can vote for anyone that you want because right right now mm-hmm. it still is America. Yes. And you can vote for whomever you want. He is kind of on the incompetent side. Yeah. I mean, well, speaking of that, um, Miss Jasmine Crockett. Now, I know you said you don't know much about uh, her. But I did. I did uh-huh. post, you did your I research? Pulled, I pulled up some, <laughs> and I listened to her talk. And I'm like, really? And if I want her to watch this, someone please forward it to oh her. My God. Because I would love to have a conversation with mm, this that... young, black, Democratic, United States Congresswoman mm. uh, from Texas. <laughs> her talking about Project 2025, in which Woo. I did. The class. If Child. that's not propaganda, what are, you, what are they propping up um, black people to try and what? Make black people listen. think that they're trying to enslave us? You're the one living in the state that it took, you guys were the last one to find out that uh, you were free. That's one. <laughs> but everything that she said, it was like the Bible uh, is used to justify. No, she was talking about uh, 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 Republicans mm-hmm. and saying mm-hmm. how, like, they, or like, Trump is is our God, Orange and, Jesus, and and, and or, they, whatever our false Jesus is. Oh my and, God! And that's what I'm they, so tired of hearing that. But wait a minute, that's what they want to use that's for the right. Project 2025 to hold us mm-hmm. down. When in actualities, no, <laughs> that's from the Southern Dem- Democratic Slave Owners oh School Book. God. They justified slavery by saying this guy, our God given right. We got to take care of the darkies, because if not, they can't live on their own. I would love to have a conversation with her. Oh, man, that would be a good one, too. I would love to. Fact to fact. Listen, the fact that she said that don't base 90 minutes um, Mm -hmm. with that Trump and Biden debate. She Mm -hmm. said, don't let 90 minutes change your mind about voting for for Biden. Look at the the four years that Mm -hmm. he's been president and the things that he's done. Listen, ma'am, we're not looking at, well, we we aren't. We're not looking at just 90 minutes. He's been like this for a while now, okay? Since and before it doesn't take a rocket president. scientist to see that this man is unfit to be president another four years. But it, I mean, that's kind of insulting our intelligence here, don't you think? It is. He well, he needs to be in a home. You know how I feel about that. <laughs> I feel sorry for the man and his wife. They all should be arrested. Uh, <laughs> it's senior. It's elderly abuse. But it's something about wait a minute, What you? What did she say? Something about the, the past four years. But the kicker is, right now, you mm-hmm. cannot look up or Google mm-hmm. anything about Biden's record over the past four years because mm-hmm. everything that they say that President Biden accomplished, see, I actually called him President Biden. Mm-hmm. I didn't disrespect him like many people did, mm-hmm. call him 45 or 46. But they're everything saying, that they're saying that he, uh, he did, did, actually, Trump did it. Yes. Mm-hmm. They have scrubbed the internet. It's like, yeah. no, it's a lie. Listen, Trump is trying to fix that mass incarceration <sighs> thing that Biden did many years ago. He's trying to get those people free. You know, he he's he's trying to undo all the wrong that Biden, Biden set did. up. Yeah, he has been a United States congressman I mean, since he was 29. Look into that. Look 29. Into that. Yeah, 29. He's trying to undo Mm. the wrongful things that Biden did. 29. 29 years old. I I don't get it. I mean... 29 years old. But no, yes, Miss Jasmine, Ruth Moten here would love to have a conversation (laughs) with you. Please. Oh, my gosh. We can record it. We can, I mean, whatever, because Mm -hmm. she's just wrong on so many levels. And if we can have an intelligent Mm -hmm. conversation... No arguing. You know, it's just a conversation. It, keep it cool. Like keep said, it relaxed. It would be it would be a good one. Because you're wrong. You know. Wow. And well, moving on. Yeah. Um, she, I mean she's wrong. Jasmine Crockett, just, you know, just <laughs> holla at your girl. Yeah, ho- yeah, holla at your <laughs> girl. Holla at your girl. <laughs> yes. Look. <laughs> basically. So anywho, <laughs> um, <laughs> Let's talk about mm. Project 2025 yes. again. Yes. Because people, yes. listen, let me tell mm. you what people were saying. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Okay. Let me tell you what they were saying, and, and specifically Mm-mm-mm. toward our video that we had the last mm. time about Project 2025. Mm-hmm. First, people were saying, oh, they're getting paid. No, we're not getting paid. That's okay. number one. Okay. No. Um, and then people were saying that um we're lying to the people. Wow. We don't know what we're talking about. Wow. Um, yeah, I mean read it for yourself. 
Uh, and you decide. We're but lying. Here, but what? here's the thing, I, and I think people are are looking at Project 2025 mm. in, a, in a sense that, oh my God, how dare these people? Oh my God. Here's the thing, Project 2025, mm -hmm. it really consists of a lot of conservative values and yeah. what they believe. Right. They, they've always believed that way and, and thought that way. So it's nothing new, no. really. You know, but because they don't know this, they think, oh my God, look, they're trying to take but us out, you it's, know. But <laughs> it's for conservatives who are looking mm -hmm. because there are thousands of positions mm -hmm. at the White House. Mm -hmm. So those looking to see, to be interviewed for a job, conservatives, for a conservative, a Republican president, mm -hmm. it is a course that you take. And then those that have worked there... They tell you, you know, the pitfalls, what to avoid, what the job entails, to give mm -hmm. you an insight. So it's almost like what? Like headhunters when people are looking for a job. Well, here's the thing. A lot of people, their concerns is this. They want to strip your freedom, okay? Uh, one, one big thing, and this is what I'm noticing. What? Th this whole transgender, gay rights, and all that. Mm -hmm. Listen, I, that's if you want me to vote... Mm -hmm. democratic, just mm -hmm. so another man has the ability to stick his penis inside of another man mm -hmm. and just forget everything else in the world that's going on, just for that, and no, I'm not doing it. Like, yeah, come I, on. I, I, I have you, a you gotta be... You, I have a problem with the whole, the core value of the Democratic that's basically, Party. You're, that's basically their whole point. Mm -hmm. The gays are going to lose their rights. No, you're not. It's they go because the Democrats go whichever way the wind blows. So, oh, if we're losing over here, oh, the blacks are walking away, then we have to get more people. Some people say that's why there's so many illegals that have entered the country because mm -hmm. so many Americans, you know what, they've gotten hit to what is going on. But for me, my core values, my grandmother who was a Republican, mm -hmm. yes, again, the Democratic Party has been around the longest. Right. Their core value is slavery. It's like, no. Mm -hmm. No, if I work hard, I bust my butt, I want to keep... I know we have to pay taxes, but mm -hmm. don't tax me to death. Mm -hmm. And no, the the what? Slavery was, no, you work yourself to death 100%. You got nothing. You got whipped if you didn't... I mean, if you looked at someone the wrong way. No. Right. So, again, no, slavery, man. Oh, man. Civil War. <laughs> right. It's a war over free labor and booty, I tell you. <laughs> That's why everybody got mixed. Booty. Oh, God. Didn't know they were going down there and raping mm -hmm. their slaves. I was going to say tap that, but I didn't want it to seem funny. <laughs> but no, it was, it was rape. It, it was rape, man. Right. That wow. is the core basis. I said they've been around the longest. That's why this whole propaganda game, mm -hmm. they got it down to an art form. And the past 50 years, they have really gotten it to an art form. Wow. It's a shame that Democrat, I mean, uh, blacks switch from being Republicans to Democrats when mm -hmm. welfare and unemployment came out. Well, let's. Well, let's talk more so about what happened with, um, oh, hold on one second. Um, well, how do you feel so far? Do you think that um, with the attempted assassination that people right. are going to um, vote, well, do you think it's going to put Trump more favorable to, to more people now? Do you, do you think that will help him? Because people are saying, my whole thing is, he was all, already beating Biden out, really. You know, so he didn't really have to oh my put on a whole place, yeah. you yeah. know. Anyone know anything show. about shooting? It's like, you oh, know, that was for a long what? Gun. It's like, for what? What? Yeah. Why did he have to do that? He was no. already winning. He People were all, after that debate, it was pretty much over for Biden at that point. So, like, come on. So, but do you think that this will now. Being as though that happened to him. Make, right, Make right. people say, oh, my gosh. You know what? Them far left people, they're, they're psycho. We we got to... Listen, I don't want no parts of them Tiffany. anymore. Do you think it's going to help Trump even more? I It, it may, slightly. But you know okay. what? I think really mm -hmm. push like, people even more so. The 34 counts, the charges, 
that they tried to, like, him and his trial. Okay. That right there, I think, you know what, it, everything started tilting from that point on. Mm, with okay. people saying that they were going to vote for him. Okay. Because anyone that's ever been charged with anything or know anything about how the system works, you may get charged with, say, 100 charges. Okay. Then by the time you go to court, I don't know, 20, 30, they're thrown on, away. Right. He is the first person that I've ever seen charged with 34 counts mm-hmm. and all 34 mm-hmm. went to trial. And they were things wow. that were supposedly well done before he was even president. So now you're bringing up his past. Let's bring up Biden's past then. What about the book that his daughter wrote that is censored and they won't let out about taking showers with daddy, you know? <laughs> oh, man, let that have been Trump. They Showers had, with they a grown had man. A field day with, with that Mr., one. You know, they would have had a field day. Let me smell and you your know hair. It. And, and, and they know it, you know. Um, but but here's my thing. I want to bring this up. So with that assassina- assassination right. attempt, right? If that had been Biden, don't you think people would have been like Trump ordered that? Trump. Oh, yeah. Trump was behind yeah, that. let's go but, arrest them. But yeah. have you noticed, mm-hmm. I haven't heard anything that, oh, Biden was behind it. Nobody had any theories about that. Mm-mm. No, nobody no. said, oh, it was, Biden probably was behind it. Oh, wait a minute. You no know? one here yeah, in this nobody's country. Nobody's saying that. Not in huh? this country. Well, isn't that odd? Other countries but were. Let the, <laughs> let the tables have been the other way around. Yes. Oh, it would have been Trump's fault. Yes. Isn't that something? He'd have been face planted on the ground, mm, brought in for mm, questioning. I mean, guys, do you? I mean, do you see? I mean, mm, you see the it, hypocrisy. But do y'all see the how hypocrisy. they are just? I mean, using you. It's really manipulating you, lying to you, <laughs> indoctrinating you. It's like uh, the, that circle, that black and white uh, little circular. Mm-hmm. You know, you're being hypnotized now. You don't notice the Th- propaganda. It, it, it's it's not leveled at all. You know, it, it's very off there, and and it's you can see how they they're trying to program you to vote a certain way, to stick with a certain party. And it's like, let people be free to choose who they want to yes. choose as their um, elected candidate. Yes. You know? But it, it, it's just, the news doesn't help. No. Um, it's skewed. Yeah, exactly. They delete. Well, was there anything else, Miss Ruth, that we need to touch <laughs> on on this God. segment? I mean... Uh, I feel like, you know, so much more is going to occur. It and, is. And, and it we'll is. have even more it that is, we got to... It will. But, and then know. we'll pivot and talk about that. But you oh know my what? Gosh. For anyone out there, just, just with plain common sense, yeah. just think about it, right? Mm-hmm. Even if you are having an argument or conversation with someone and they have no facts, they have mm-hmm. no proof, they have nothing else better to say, mm-hmm. they go to cursing you out or using things or making up stuff. Yes, they do. There's a deflection tactic. Yeah. Yep. It's like, oh, we don't have anything better to do, so let's make it up. Even at the Democratic National Convention, mm-hmm. the headline was, and then why do you got to put you put a black person up there to talk about Project 2025? Really? It's, it's all set up, but <laughs> that's what really? they do. Well, guys... We're out of time. Yeah, and we're we're stupid. <laughs> and no, no one pays. Not literally. I've actually worked for a living very hard, many years, since high school. Listen, it, it was great. Thank, thank you, you so much yes. again. And thank guys, you. we will see you next time. Bye. And thank you so much for watching.